Hey guys, as always, it's the Digital Pumpkin Cat, and tonight is Yard Hoft update number three. A daytime update is coming soon, probably tomorrow, whenever time of filming this is, or time of uploading, I guess, time of filming this is, October 3rd night. Don't mind the cars. So we started off with the pump, uh, pumpkin patch last, I think. We'll start off with the graveyard because not much in the pumpkin patch has changed, but we'll take a look at the graveyard because I have been doing a lot of work in here. Now, I know it is dark in the back, but it looks better in person, but I will get another blue light behind the angel tombstone and shining on the other props that we'll about to check out. So caretaker, of course, as you can see by that sign, if you didn't know already, haunted mansion theme. We've got eternal rest back there. Madame Leota tombstone, fences, the gate, another Madame Leota tombstone, Master Gracie tombstone, right there. It's kind of leading, but I'll fix that. Some more licensed Haunted Mansion tombstones along with my homemade Headless Knight. Nothing's plugged in except him and him and I guess him, but I don't want to really turn on stuff until I guess week of because we will get some complaints like last year got the reaper back there got night terror going off and this pumpkin guy of course a green light on night terror yeah demonic gatekeeper back there just set him up he'll be great when he's plugged in but he looks great as a static there he's huge makes the other props look tiny. Then over here, I've got my customized vampire with uh, actually 2000, I think 2000, Dawn Post Studios mask on him. Looks pro. So that's him, just some hanging stuff on the tree, some more tombstones. Then we've got little funny hammock reaper right there, along with bones back there. And then of course a strobe over here. Now, like I said, nothing in the pumpkin patch is really new, but hanging stuff, drop down scarecrow up there. I've got the raven scarecrow, of course, the green lights, and I'll get another green light out here, working on lighting a lot this weekend. And then Lantern Jack, eight foot watcher, he's kind of turned, needs to face the street a little more, and swamp scarecrow over in the corner. So here's what you guys didn't see last update. Of course, you didn't see all of these, but what you just completely missed was the demonic side. Now, 13 foot jack will be up right here. I just don't have him up and I know I said I would, but he is broken at the moment. So I am trying to fix him. It's like a base problem. So he literally won't stand, but I hope I can get him going. So here is Sword Reaper. Of course, none of these guys are plugged in because of the issues I just told you about. But yeah, Sword Reaper looks great. He is out here. I customized him a little bit, as you can see. Yeah, he looks good guarding the 12 foot Reaper. His arm welds broke and he'll be plugged in soon. He's one of the ones I plug in and just turned down his volume all the way because his arm moves. And then of course, we've got a red light on all of them. And one many of you might not know about the Illusion Ghoul from CVS a couple of years back. And he, they are both basically like guarding the 12 foot Reaper. And of course we'll have some demonic king stuff here. Just like skeletons maybe groveling at his feet like we did last year. It's coming together really, really well. Don't know if I'm going to put Demonic Gatekeeper. I might move Demonic Gatekeeper to that side. I think he does fit this theme, obviously. But I think he looks really good in the Shady Rest Cemetery. So I don't know where his final spot would be. But he does look good in both places. So I do have a backup place for him if it gets a little too crowded in the cemetery. But I think everything's looking very, very good. And it'll just keep getting better. So thanks for watching, and as always, Digital Pumpkin Cat, like and subscribe. And I think the haunt is turning out amazing so far. This is how Haunted Mansion is looking.